when you don't have any remedy against the refusal of the home office, if the home office refused your human rights application or asylum application or leave to remain, leave to enter, visit visa, uh, FLRFP, whatever it is, if the home office um, or ILR or district nationality, if the home office refused your application, then what are the remedy? Well, most of the cases, there is no appeal right. Only uh, following the Immigration Act uh, 2014, uh, you have uh, limited to appeal rights, only human rights application and asylum. It, it, however, even still, the Home Office can refuse your human rights application um, uh, or the asylum case, uh, uh, and they can certify that you can't do appeal against the refusal of asylum claim or a human rights claim within the UK. That means you need to leave the UK and then you can appeal. That is under Section 94 of 20, uh, uh, 40, 2014 Act. So the only option to challenge the Home Office is judicial review. Now, before you go to judicial review process, you need to issue a pre-action protocol letter. This is the first stage. And many people doesn't know that you could have uh, get better remedy than appeal or going to judicial review uh, uh, just by issuing a pre-action protocol. If you can draft properly, uh, I give uh, a pre-action protocol letter with content, with legal argument, with the guidelines, with the immigration law, with the decision of the Supreme Court, then the Home Office may change their position, either will allow you your application or they will at least give you appeal rights or they will reconsider your decision. I have many applications issued in that uh, where the Home Office refused and there is no appeal right and I have sent a pre-action protocol that have and the Home Office reconsidered positively and the application was successful. So I'll advise you before you uh, go to uh, a judicial review application, you should consider to uh, uh, issue a pre-action protocol letter. That is a letter before action uh, that you will give the Home Office that look, you you were wrongly or you unlawfully or you unreasonably or irrationally you decided my application this is not according to law therefore i'm going to challenge your decision uh, your authority by an independent code unless you give me uh, change your position within 14 days or within 21 days and you need to explain in the prediction protocol letter how the home office is wrong how the Home Office is unreasonable, how the Home Office is irrational, how the Home Office is made a law not according to uh, immigration rules or according to law, according to the decision of the Supreme Court or High Court, whatever it is, whatever applicable. And what form you need to use? That's what I'm going to show briefly. I'll introduce with the uh, form. This is not a big form or it's a, it's, a, it's a letter. It's basically Home Office already make your life easy. The Home Office already uh, 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 you know, introduced and set up a form. You need to complete the form. And this is what I'm going to show you in the screen in a minute. Uh, so this is the form uh, you need to complete. Uh, you see that in the top uh, pre-action protocol for judicial review, letter before claim for asylum, nationality or immigration cases. And you need to give your details, full name, address, date of birth, uh, nationality, application number, homeless application number. So this is very, very basic information. Uh, and the important part is the details matter being challenged, the issue, uh, and then the details action you want the Home Office uh, uh, want to take. That is, um, uh, withdraw the decision or uh, allow you appeal, allow your application or give in country rights to appeal, whatever remedy you want. The details of interested party SSHD, and if you want to give any other information further, uh, and uh, this is all the service uh, issues. So, the mainly you need to uh, uh, concentrate is the details of the matter being challenged. In this section, basically, uh, you need to give uh, uh, clearly set out the details matter being challenged, particularly how the Home Office is uh, uh, wrong. If it is more than one, then uh, in the issue, basically, you need to 
write it. And the boxes is you see you are seeing it small, but this is a word document, so you, you can expand it. You can make it bigger, you, you know, as much as you can read. So in the issue section, basically, what is the issue? Whether the home office is wrong, whether the decision was irrational, whether the decision was unreasonable, why it is unreasonable, uh, what is the basis, what is the authority um, that you are explaining uh, that, that you are, uh, your position is that home office is wrong to make the decision and then you need to you can send it by email this is the email uh, or you can post it but i better suggest to send by email uh, this is the email you can pay homeoffice.co.uk so this is the form where you need to send to the home office to challenge the home office by way of judicial review if you don't want to uh, uh, if you don't if you, if you don't have any appeal right even if you do have a right, right, out country right of appeal, so you can do a challenge uh, to give in country right of appeal. Thank you very much. This is a small video um, to uh, how you can challenge what, uh, the pre action, how you can draft the pre action protocol letter. But remember, pre action protocol letter you need to issue within three months. But well, as soon as possible, I'll suggest because you have deadline to go for judicial review, time limit is three months. So within this period, you need to issue the judicial review uh, pre action protocol letter. And, uh, you know, clock will not start, clock will continue so that you, if you give to it 14 days that 40 days should be within this three months and then you can go to uh, upper tribunal which or in high court uh, to uh, challenge the home office remember certain uh, uh, jurisdiction upper tribunal, upper tribunal doesn't have say for example a nationality so this jurisdiction exclusively for the high court so you need to you need to you know make the right application in the right code um, if your matter is complex don't take this i'll advise you to speak to a, a, a experienced a lawyer uh, and then get some advice uh picture protocol doesn't cost too much but the uh, remedy could be uh, very high so it sometimes is worth to go to a solicitor to get some advice and uh, give them the work my name is Sohel Ahmed. I'm, I'm the principal solicitor of SWF Solicitor. Uh, we have office in London and Milton Keynes, and we give pro provide services, consultation around the UK via uh, and a whole England and work via uh, uh, Zoom meeting. So if you need any help, please feel free to contact with my office. The contact details appeared at the bottom of the screen. Uh, this is all about today. Thank you very much um, for watching.